Bitcoin crosses $59,000, Ether stays below $3,400. Hut 8 begins construction on 63 megawatt crypto mining site in Texas. Crypto.com pairs up with Latin America's biggest investment bank and stablecoin push. Coinbase expands asset recovery tool to Polygon and BNB chain. Southeast Asia lays the groundwork to become crypto blockchain AI hub. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Virtual digital assets continue to experience relentless price up moves led by strong investor appetite, especially for recently launched spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds in the United States. Bitcoin, the largest crypto by market cap, is on the move towards $60,000. Ruti Sharma joins us to tell us how global crypto market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 3.6% at 75,330 points. In the previous session, BTC post, uh, posted a double-digit rally, hitting its highest level since late 2021, led by traders from Bitfinex snapping up Bitcoins worth $123 million. Further, the decent buying in spot trade forced bear traders to unwind short positions, which went on to add bullish momentum. Altcoins too are basking in glory with Ethereum taking the driver's seat. The second largest crypto asset is holding on to a near two-year high level of $3,300. Meanwhile, analysts expect the positive momentum to continue as the spot ETFs have brought in a wave of institutional capital into the Bitcoin market with inflows to the tune of 3,000 BTC per day, coupled with the impending 50% decline in daily BTC generation to 450 following April's reward halving. In an interesting piece of news, the annualized funding rate in Bitcoin perpetual futures listed on Binance surpassed 100% for the first time in at least a year, according to data sources Velodata and Coinglass. A positive funding rate indicates that perpetuals are trading at a premium to the spot price and requires traders holding long or buy positions to pay a fee to those holding short positions. Elsewhere, Bitcoin-related stocks MicroStrategy popped another 10% after receiving a buy rating at Benchmark, which expects Bitcoin to reach $125,000 at the end of 2025. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $2.2 trillion, mark increasing 3% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume decreased by 8% to $1.3 billion. In other news, Ripple, the company behind XRP and the XRP Leisure, has recently partnered with Axler, an interoperability protocol which powers communication in more than 55 plus chains. This might significantly alter the way traditional lending is introduced into cryptocurrency through collateralized loans. Additionally, an anonymous transaction featuring 300 million XRP has been detected by the crypto analytics platform Whale Alert. Nonetheless, the market is essentially unaffected by the significant move. Large-scale fund transfers in cryptocurrencies are normal, particularly with XRP. Interestingly, the Pepe meme coin has been showing a lot of bullish momentum recently. The Pepe coin price has increased by almost 37% in the last 24 hours and 161.23% overall this month, demonstrating the token's strong bullish influence in the market. US stock futures traded lower as investors focused on a key inflation report due later this week. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 0.34%, S&P 500 futures traded lower by 0.42%, while Nasdaq 100 futures fell 0.57%. Bitcoin was trading at $59,172, up 4.7%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 3%, trading at $3,352. BNB was up by 3.3% to trade at $411. Solana SOL was up 0.5%. Cardano's ADA token was up by 2.2% to trade at $0.63. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $40.2, higher 2%. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 3.5% at $0.098. Shiba Inu was trading up by 6.3%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.58, up by 5%. Polkadot was up by 4.5% to trade at $8.5. However, Polygonmatic was trading down by 0.6% to trade at $1. Thanks, Ruchi. And now back to the headlines. 
North American Digital Asset Miner Hut 8 has begun construction on a new 63 megawatt mining facility in Culberson County, Texas, its fifth United States mining location. The new facility is expected to be open for business with miners online by quarter 2, 2024. According to a press release, Hut 8 expects to be able to mine Bitcoin at 30% lower rates than it costs to mine at its other sites in Texas and Nebraska. Canada-based Hut 8 and US Bitcoin Corp formed a new company via a merger in December 2023. After the reported $725 million merger, the company resumed operations under the name Hut 8 as a US domiciled corporation headquartered in Miami, Florida. Hut 8's efforts towards expansion come at a tumultuous time for the company. It was recently accused of a pump and dump by J Capital Research, a firm claiming on its website to have a focus on short selling for profit. BTG Pactual, one of the biggest banking institutions in Latin America, has joined with Crypto.com in a push to advance crypto banking within the region. On Feb 27, Crypto.com announced that it will list BTG Pactual's BTG Doll, a stablecoin peg to the United States dollar at a 1 ratio 1 ratio. The crypto exchange uh, highlighted an announcement that the new collaboration would involve promoting the use of new stablecoin by pairing it with popular crypto assets. Apart from listing BTG Toll, Crypto.com and BTG Pactual will promote the stablecoin by pairing it with prominent digital assets like Bitcoin and Ether. According to the exchange, this alliance with strategic partnerships' goal to jumpstart the digital economy in Latin America and connect traditional and digital finance for its users. Crypto exchange Coinbase will soon enable users to recover lost assets said to the platform's unsupported blockchains including BNB Chain and Polygon. According to Feb 27 announcement, users who sent assets to Coinbase accounts on BNB Chain or Polygon would simply need to provide their transaction ID and inbound Coinbase wallet address for the assets to be recovered. Historically, these assets have been unrecoverable in part because our employees and support channels don't have access to the private keys needed to reverse these transactions the exchange said, for assets under $100, no fee is charged for recovery efforts by Coinbase. However, retrieving lost crypto over that amount would incur a commission of 5%. The crypto and blockchain industries have made significant headway in becoming functional sectors around the world. However, in some parts of the world, such as Southeast Asia, there is a greater tendency to welcome these financial and technological advancements. The Southeast Asia region was highly represented in Chain Analysis's 2023 Global Crypto Adoption Index, with countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines and Thailand on the brink of a crypto revolution. Located in the heart of the region, Thailand in particular is at the forefront of blockchain adoption across various industries and supporting blockchain-based projects. Singapore is another country seen as a global leader in the overall Web3 space. In 2023, its central bank committed $112 million to support local fintech solutions from emerging Web3 technologies. Well, the emergence of AI has also been a major theme in Southeast Asia, with countries like Singapore jumping on the bandwagon to develop the technology suited for local communities. According to data from US ASEAN Business Council, AI has the potential to contribute nearly $1 trillion to the gross domestic product of Southeast Asia by 2030, notably for Indonesia, one of the region's largest economies. And now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on buzzing coins of the day. Let us have a look at the buzzing crypto watch list for today and the week ahead. First on the list, we have Floki Inu. Floki cryptocurrency, the people's cryptocurrency experienced a 40% price surge on February 27th due to a $10 million investment by DWF Labs, a leading digital asset market maker and Web3 investment firm. With over 460,000 holders, Floki operates on over 60 leading exchanges and has seen a 37% price surge and a 683.7% trading volume in the last 24 hours, reaching $202.8 million. The partnership between Floki and DWF Labs have uh, paved the way for uh, critical developments and industry projects. Floki Inu was trading up near 19% in the last 24 hours. 
Next on the list, we have USDC. The cryptocurrency market is expected to experience a bullish era with USDC, the second largest stablecoin by market capitalization, experiencing a 14.3% increase in supply since December 1st, 2023. This growth is attributed to increased retail and institutional demand for spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US and gaining momentum in non-US markets. The partnership between uh, Issuer Circle and Coinbase International Expansion and relisting of USDC trading pairs on Binance have played a crucial role. Next on the list, we have Singularity Net, Singularity Net, also known as AGIX. An uh, AI altcoin is set to release millions of AGIX tokens in a token unlock event on February 28, 2024, which is today. The event will introduce approximately $6.74 million worth of AGIX into circulation with 8.97 million tokens to be unlocked. The tokens will be allocated to the AGIX ADA a utility program, announcing AGIX's functionality around 70% uh, of Singularity Net's token unlock program has also been completed. AGIX was trading at $0.6, down near 6% in the last 24 hours. Next on the list, we have Tron. Justin Sun has announced Tron's partnership with Merlin Chain, an Ethereum virtual machine compatible solution to improve Bitcoin interoperability. Merlin Chain, a native Bitcoin layer 2 solution, integrates a decentralized Oracle network, a ZK rollups, and on chain Bitcoin fraud proof units. Sun believes this move will boost Tron's utility and financial accessibility, benefiting from Merlin Chain scaling and improved support for Bitcoin L2s. Uh, Tron was trading at $0.14, up near 2% in the last 24 hours. Next on the list, we have Pit Network. Pit Network, a provider of real-time market data for blockchain applications, will launch price feeds and Pit benchmarks on Hedera, an open-source proof-of-stake public ledger with over 400 price feeds users can now access the latest market updates across various cryptocurrencies, foreign exchange commodities, equities, and ETFs. Edge Liquidity, a decentralized borrowing protocol, uh, will be the first application on Hedera to integrate with Pith data, ensuring over collateralization. Pith was trading at $0.6, down near 14% in the last 24 hours. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website, www.treeverse.tv.io, or scan the QR code.